work's been really challenging for me the past couple months and not all days are like this, but there was one day in particular where I wasn't trying to get through the day. I wasn't trying to get through the hour. I was trying to get through the next 10 minutes. And so I set a timer on my computer, on my web browser for 10 minutes. And at the end of 10 minutes, it went off and I gave myself a pep talk. And I said, Tara, you did that. I'm proud of you. You made it through 10 minutes. You're doing a great job. Let's try to make it through another 10 minutes. And I set the timer again. And at the end of 10 minutes, I gave myself another pep talk. And I inched my way through the day for much of the day like that. And at some point in the day, I said, I think I can go through 20 minutes at a time. And so I changed it to 20 minutes and I quickly realized that I could not make it through 20 minutes at a time. So I moved it back to 10 minutes. And I know I'm not alone in that. I know that we have parents in here whose children are terrors. And I don't know which ones those are because I don't work up there, but I know they're out there. And you can't think about the whole day. You gotta think about bath time. And when bath time's over, you're gonna think about bedtime. And we have people who are experiencing chronic pain or people who are caregivers of people who are experiencing chronic gain, pain. And they can't think about the whole day. They have to think about, I'm gonna get my feet out of this bed. I'm gonna sit my feet on the ground and I'm gonna stand up. And then I'm gonna go and get myself a glass of water. And we have people who are experiencing extreme loss and they're not thinking about the whole day. They're thinking about, I need to brush my teeth. And now I need to go and get a shower. And now I need to go get something to eat. And in those moments, if you've felt that before, and you've experienced other people have felt that before, you feel really helpless. And you feel like maybe God has hidden his face from you. And maybe he's cast your soul away. And you definitely feel afflicted. And these verses welcome us and invite us to come to God in the immensity of our pain. God is not scared of our feelings. He's not offended by our questions. He's not disappointed in us. He's not mad at where we're at. We can lift those things up to him and allow him to be strong and allow him to be there. You know how long he's gonna be there? For the next 10 minutes. And when you get through those 10 minutes, he's gonna be there for the next 10 minutes. And when you get through those 10 minutes, he's gonna be there after that.